All right, so that's it. Super simple. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm not very good at this stuff. Um, I just... You shouldn't have taught me how to do this on my phone. What's up, guys? I heard you loud and clear. I keep getting comments. We want Stephanie back in the videos. Uh, she's pretty tired these days, but uh, she said she would come try this out. So Stephanie has never actually used the frunk, um, so she doesn't know how annoying it is, you know, to open it uh, and close it. So I'm going to get her first impressions of the frunk. I'm going to have her use it. And then I actually got the struts, uh, like from the i1 Tesla video. I'll link to that. And I got the spring. So now when I open the frunk after we replace that stuff, it'll auto open. You've probably seen it before. And then with the spring, it's really easy to close. So um, we'll kind of get her impressions before and after. So I'm gonna just show you the before and after right away. Um, and if you're interested in the install, I'll record it and put it at the end of the video, but you've, you've probably seen it before. Um, so let's see what she thinks. Okay, so you've never used the frunk before and, and you're gonna try it out. So just pretend like, here, take these and one in each hand. So your like hands are full of groceries and you gotta open the frunk. So do you know how to open it? Nope, no, you have to use your phone. <laughs> You gotta go in the app. You can do it from the car too. Full of groceries. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Okay. Controls. Front trunk. They there don't even call it a front. I know. This action will remotely open your front trunk. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So, what do you think? So far. I think that if I knew in advance I had to open it with my phone, then I could do it like while the groceries were still in the cart and it would be okay. But if your hands were full, it's annoying because you had to open it. Wouldn't it be nice if it just automatically opened? Yeah, but all how right. would it know? Well, no, you open it from the app and then it lifts all the way up. Oh, yes. And then you put your stuff in there. You can put those in there. And now you got to close it. Good luck with that. No, you're gonna hurt it, it's very fragile. I was being really gentle. <laughs> you have to put a hand on each side of the T, a little bit above it, and then push down. I only have two hands, how do I put them on the side and on the top? No, I mean like, put one hand on each side, but then a little above it. There you go, like that. <laughs> no, just put it, push it down. It no, it. don't sit on it. <laughs> Use my You're supposed to use your palms, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Well. That was difficult. <laughs> All right, we're going to make it easier for you. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you, do you think I modified it correctly? I don't know what you did. Do you think I'm good at this kind of stuff? Um, so go ahead and try to why, close it. Why is there a, a fireman's hat? Oh, that's for the firefighters. If there's an accident, they can they know where to go. Seriously? Yeah, that's how they cut the power to the battery. Okay. All right, try the frunk. Well, this is. Yep, you can. That was to trick you. Am I supposed to leave it up? No. Am I supposed to do it the same way? That's you do whatever you want. <gasps> it just did it. <laughs> Isn't that much nicer? Yes. All right, I didn't now. Have to push as hard, but is it gonna just pop open? Do you have your phone? Yeah. So check it out. Yay! What did you do? I replaced that strut on the right. See that blue sticker over there? Yeah. Yeah, I replaced that one. You didn't have to do both. No. If you do both, it kind of goes flying open, so I only wanted to do one. <laughs> cool. All right, you like it better? I like it a lot better. Sweet. Maybe I'll actually use the front now. Okay, for the install, I only got one of, of the... What is that called? Okay, so for the install, I only got one of the struts because I've seen a lot of videos where people replace both and then the front goes like flying open like crazy. Um, and I think this will help it you know, just open a little more gently. Hope I don't regret that decision, but I can always just get a second one. 
Um, and then just so you know, if you want to do the spring, you have to do this too. In Brian's video from I1 Tesla, he didn't mention um, that. So if you replace just the spring, then when you open it from your app, you know that little pop it does initially when, when nothing's modified, it won't do that. It'll, it'll unclip, but then you gotta kinda dig in there. So if you wanna do the spring, you gotta do this too, but it's super easy. I'm not very good at this kind of stuff, but it's just gonna take a second. So uh, here we go. So I'll show you on this piece that I'm gonna replace, um, but on the frunk, I'm gonna put my screwdriver here, and I'm gonna kinda pop that out, and then that will get this one loose. So super simple. And then the lower part here should just snap right off. All right, and then to replace it, it's as simple as just snapping this stuff on. Uh, these, these, these replacement pieces are a little shorter, so you might have to pull this down a bit. There you go. All right, so now we'll do the spring. Okay, so this piece should just come right off. You just pull on it like nothing, uh, leave that alone. And then here's your spring. Um, you actually might want a tool for this, but let's see. All right, so let me grab some pliers really quick. Okay, so you can just use these. So that came off. And then this spring is not nearly as hefty. So you should be able to just put it on like that. No big deal. And then this will snap into place. All right, so that's it. It was super simple. I'm really not good at this kind of stuff, but it was really easy. It just took me a few minutes. I really like it with just the one strut because now it does auto open, but it doesn't go flying open too powerfully. Uh, and then the spring, actually that's, that's what I really wanted was the spring. I didn't care so much about the auto open, but now you, you do need both if you want the spring. And now that it closes so easily, it's really nice. Also, I have one more of these. The spring's coming in a two pack. If somebody local wants it, um, just, message me on uh, Instagram is actually probably the best place or Reddit. One of those is fine. Um, and I'll meet you somewhere and I can give this to you. I don't mind. If you like this video, hit like, get subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Stephanie!